Okay, guys, so uh, to start off with, pick up your color that you are going to be using for the hair. Here I'm using purple color and yeah we'll be using this color for everything so yeah so here i am using soft air brush if your software doesn't have it um just use a brush that is similar to this one so basically what i'm doing is uh, by increasing a little size of the brush i'm creating these hair strokes and once that is done this is that was the base and you have to now create a, another layer and this time just decrease the size of the brush start adding hair strokes like this make sure when you do so make sure when you start in to draw the hair stroke you, the pressure onto the screen is really light because we want to keep them lighter in the um, starting points of the hair strokes and also be a little quicker and confident in your hair strokes uh, in this brush strokes when you're creating this so that they are nice and smooth if your software doesn't have anything called streamline which just smoothens the brush strokes once that is done create another layer again this time increase the size of the brush we are going to be adding more hair strokes with increased brush size and this will kind of fill up some gaps between different hair strokes so do that so just remember the first three steps is to create a base with larger brush size then decrease the size of the brush and add more hair strokes and then increase the size of the brush a bit more and add more hair strokes so this will be this will act as a nice base for the whole hair so that's what you want to do right here once that is done create a new layer place it at the bottom of every other layer that you have and just fill the gaps in with the same color that you chose i'm not darkening this up not lightening this up i'm just using the same color and when you fill the whole hair up at the bottom layer you can also go ahead and add a little bit of darker color here and there just to add more depth but that is just optional you can completely avoid that so do that now again go ahead and create new layer again above all now this time pick up light pen from luminance brush set Increase the streamline of the brush and also just play around with the size that you want. But basically, we want to create more hair strokes and these are going to be really thin and crisp. And this is just going to add that really fine hair kind of look to the whole hairstyle. So that is why I love using this brush. And once you add these, just pick up your blending tool and go over this once don't blend it out completely just go over those once and blend it out really gently and if your software doesn't have light pen what you can do is you can just uh, use any brush decrease its size change the layer mode to color dodge and it will just brighten the color up that you're using for the hair and as you guys can see i'm not using any lighter color i'm using the same color that i used before so you just have to do that and once that is done we are going to be adding one more layer of these hair strokes but this time we are going to be using a lighter color of the base color and yeah just go ahead and add more hair strokes with light pen and keep adding that it just makes the whole hair look so and kind of fine i don't know how to say that maybe um luscious or I don't know i'm not really getting any words in my head but yeah you get my point and just also just go ahead and blend that now comes my favorite part which is highlighting for highlighting i'm using the same brush light pen and also the same color you can use the same purple color the base color or a lighter version of it and just start adding these um highlights really uh not do not worry by being perfect because you are going to be blending those out with the blending tool and when you are blending out the highlights make sure you are blending it out in a brush sorry in a hair stroke kind of structure if that makes any sense now once that is done we are going to be adding another layer of highlight this time i'm using light brush from luminance brush set i love using this brush for highlighting hair because it has some texture in it so as you guys can see i just went over the already created highlight and I also added few hair strokes with that brush, making sure I'm putting really less pressure onto the screen. If 
If that is something you struggle with, you can always go ahead and decrease the opacity of the brush. But as you guys can see, the hair are looking so nice and smooth and so shiny, so glossy already. So that's how I do it. I keep adding hair strokes and I keep adding layer of hair strokes like this and that's how I build up the whole hairstyle. I know there are a lot of layers. Once you remember all of the steps, it will get really, really easy for you as well. So as you guys can see, it's looking nice already. I'm adding hair strokes and also adding um, the highlight. And also, if at some point you feel it's too much, just go ahead, pick up your blending tool and blend those out. Now, once that is done, create a new layer, place it right at the bottom of every other layer that you have. Pick up your softer brush, decrease its size and start adding more head strokes around the edges of the whole hair. Because right now they look so, um, so harsh to me. So you have to blend those edges out with more head strokes. And this step is crucial as it makes or breaks the whole hairstyle. And as you guys can see, it is actually looking really nice as I started adding these head strokes around, around the edges. Now it looks realistic for me at least and I actually changed the background color because I wasn't really able to see what I was doing because the hair color is so light. So yeah, uh, you're pretty much done with your colored hair. That's how you actually paint colored realistic looking hair um, digitally. You can choose any color that you want. You don't really have to use purple but I just decided to use purple for this tutorial. You can also just go back and fill in the gaps if you want to add more color to it. Other than that, you are basically done. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. And give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you do create something out of my tutorial or if you create, then tag me on Instagram. I love to see what you guys create and I really appreciate it. So yeah, go ahead and do that. Hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video.